We're going to walk you through using the Husqvarna Viking free 5D software for transferring designs from your computer to your USB stick. First, you're going to want to visit HuskavarnaViking.com and click at the top where it says Support and Updates. Next, select your machine model. If you don't see your model listed, it is in the All Machines section at the bottom. We're going to use today the Topaz 30. When you click here, you'll notice you'll get to where the complimentary software download area is and click Learn More. Here you're going to notice that we have a couple options. If your computer is newer, Windows 8 or Windows 7, you're going to want to follow and download the 6D embroidery software. This video is going to show you the 5D embroidery software. So check out our 6D video if that would apply to you. Continue to the download page and set up an account to download this software. Go ahead and click Next when you're ready and continue following the screens. When you have it downloaded, we can put in a CD, as I have. I've gone to Asian Recipes and clicked on Embroidery Designs. Now the VP3 is already on this CD, so we're just going to select all, right click, click Copy, go over to the removable disk F that you've put, uh, that's your USB stick, and put it into your machine. Click on New and create a folder. This is going to keep your designs organized and um, together for later. We're going to type that name, Asian Recipes, and click on it one time. Right click and click Paste. All your designs will now be copied from the CD to your USB stick. Notice the VP3 file format is ready to use. Next, go out to your 5D Organizer, double click. This is how we're going to transfer designs that are not already in a VP3 format. Navigate to the CD that might need the conversion. Mine is called Wildflowers. We'll click on Wildflowers. Notice that VP3 is not on the list. You can do HUS and most other formats, just don't do ART. And they're going to show over here on the right side. I like to do all the designs. So if you come up to Edit, you can select all or Control A. All the designs are going to highlight blue. Next, see this double blue arrow? That's Convert to Embroidery. This is exactly what you need to do to get them from one format into the format that you need. First, the output folder is what we need to change. Go to your PC and scroll down till you find the removable disk F. What we're going to do here is create a folder. You must click on that removable disk F and then cl click on Make New Folder. Title it, touch Enter, and touch OK. Here we'll see below that the output file format is VP3. Now all you have to do is click OK. It's that simple. Now if you want to see that those are correctly done, click on your removable disk F and scroll down to your new folder called Wildflowers and notice they are now in VP3. Now there's one other thing that you can do here is add trim commands. That allows your machine, if it has a selective thread cutter, to cut between your, your, your jumps. And so what you want to do is go ahead and select all your designs and click on Add Trim Commands from the drop down menu. You're going to output this same collection of designs, so click on your removable disk F, and I'm going to make another new folder, and we'll call it Wildflowers with Trim Commands, and touch OK. Now I wouldn't keep the first folder, we'll come back and delete those designs, but just so you can see, and when you touch OK, all those designs will have those Trim Commands added. That's a huge time saver. The last thing that you can do is go up to Print File with the drop down menu of Print or Print Preview. Print Preview will give you your design in the size it's going to stitch and also your color and stitch count. This is handy to have. You can pull it up on your computer or even print it out if you'd like to do that.